Hi, welcome back to Papa Dan's Pantry. Remember to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Questions or comments, reach out to me at papajohnspantry at gmail.com. Today, we're making meatloaf. We're making a barbecued meatloaf because, uh, truth be told, I am not a fan of ketchup. All right, we're going to be using, and this is something you can uh, either use fresh or frozen vegetables for. I'm using frozen to save some time. Um, I got five pounds of beef. Four pounds is fine. Four or five pounds will be work just as fine for this restaurant. We're going to be using two cups of breadcrumbs, two tablespoons of adobo, four eggs, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a cup of um, frozen peppers diced, a cup of onions diced. I'm using frozen ones. You, like I said, you can use fresh. Um, and that is that. I'm going to be using barbecue sauce. I'm going to just use a, um, I'm just going to, since I'm already going to have it, I'm going to use a, a dry measuring cup with a barbecue sauce for this, and then we're going to cover the top of it. All right, so uh, I just, off camera, I'm going to put the uh, the beef and the eggs, well, in the, uh, in the bowl. All right, give me just one second to do that. Cracking my last two eggs. Don't let you think there's uh, off camera secrets or nothing. Uh, we're going to cook this for 45 minutes at 400 degrees. You're going to want this to um, reach 165 degrees. No pink since we're using uh, hamburger. Um, we're going to start with the dry stuff and then move on to the liquids just so uh, it's easier to use our, um, our measuring cup. Two cups of breadcrumbs. I like using the Italian ones because they got a little bit of a flavor in it, but you just got plain breadcrumbs. You just got plain breadcrumbs. And nothing, what I like cooking about cooking is nothing really needs to be too, you know, you can't put, yeah, I mean, you can put too many breadcrumbs in it, but. You can't screw it up like that. I mean, you can make things too salty and whatnot, but... Unlike bacon, if you use a little bit of uh, extra breadcrumbs or something on like a baking soda or a baking powder, just like with these onions, it's not gonna... It's not gonna... Uh, it's not going to screw anything up, where if you're a bacon, it could, uh, you could get flat cookies or super puffy cookies or whatnot, but I'll shut up. All right, a couple of onions, a couple of peppers. I'm using, uh, the grocery store by us has red and, red and green bell peppers already pre, pre-diced. They sell pretty cheap. It's one of them time savers. We got a little barbecue sauce left in another bottle. I just want to finish up. So I, I'm the kind of person I have a tendency to open 10 things all at the same time because I never look first. So that's a bad habit of mine. Yep. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get this silly bottle open. Two-year-old kid probably could have had this bottle open in three seconds, and I'm over here bumping around with it. So, cut the barbecue sauce. Gonna, so you can just use the same measuring cup, just to save yourself some time. You're gonna add a tablespoon of. Move this a little closer to the camera now. Tablespoon of garlic powder and that's salt. Tablespoon of parsley. Do that later. And two tablespoons of our adobo. If you don't have adobo, just like a two tablespoons of salt and. Uh, like a half a 
half tablespoon of black pepper. Okay, I'll give myself some more. Okay. All right. So, good thing about this, it's going to be delicious. Bad thing about this is, you're going to get your hands gross. So before you start mixing, because this is going to go right from the bowl, you'll put this right into a sprayed uh, 9 by 13 glass or metal, it doesn't matter, baking pan. All right, so start mixing this until it's all uniform color. You don't want any pockets of breadcrumbs or pockets of onions or, you know, you don't want to look like one big giant unison colored meatball. I love meatloaf. And then, you know, I used a, a honey barbecue sauce, use your meat, you know, that's something. Don't have to use barbecue sauce at all. I just want it makes it even more moist too. I don't like ketchup. And, uh, you know, do you have to put the onions or the uh, peppers in this? No, you don't. But I don't like nothing plain. And you can, if you like the barbecue sauce I did, there's all different types of barbecue sauces. There's the spicy ones, you know, you can keep switching this. One of those variables you can keep switching over and over and over again and until you find your favorite or you just keep switching it up. Alright, so this is all pretty much uniform. Can you Yeah, okay, cool. Making sure I'm still on camera. Alright, so before I even put this in the pan, I'm gonna get it kind of loaf shaped just to save myself some trouble because this will pretty much all pick up at once. Alright, so then I am going to transfer this over to my pan. We're going to try to make this as evenly shaped as possible just so it cooks, you know, it cooks at the same thing uh, at the same time in, this, in the same spots. So you want this to be, you know, you don't want this to be shaped like a figure eight or nothing like that because uh, middle, of, you know, the thinner parts burn, the thickle parts will still be Still be cooking. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. I will see you in a second. All right, so I washed my hands and I spun this sideways. Um, now, if you don't like, this will crisp a little bit just as is. I like the meatloaf crispy, so I'm gonna put the barbecue sauce on now, which is why I wanna wash my hands because I'm touching the, uh, the barbecue sauce bottle again. If you want the barbecue, well, there's already barbecue sauce in the beef, but if you want to um, um, put it on but not have it crisp up, you'll put it on like, as this is going to bake for 45 minutes, you put it on on like the last five minutes so it has a chance to heat up. I'm, I want this to get that good flavor and to be a little bit on the crispy sauce, so I'm going to, crispy sauce, crispy side, so I'm going to put some on now. How much? Just enough to cover it. I'm going to take a, a metal, just a regular teaspoon, and just um, just coat this with some, some barbecue sauce. It's still going to, it'll still crisp up, but putting the sauce on now, it'll get even crispier on the outside, which me and my family, well, my wife anyway, she likes the, she likes the crispy part. It's not that it's going to be burned, it's just it's going to. It's almost going to have like a barbecued crust on it, and it's pretty darn good. So that is that. All right, that's going to go in the oven 45 minutes at 400 degrees. We're going to pull it out at 165 uh, degrees. All right, see you then. All righty, my timer just went off. Let's take a look at this meatloaf. No, oh, looks like a meatloaf. I just the only thing that uh just want to make sure it's done just because using uh the frozen vegetables might have slowed it down. So I mean all we're we're looking for, if it takes a little longer, if it's still a little pink, I'll I'll keep doing it in about 15 minute increments because like 
it's not even starting to brown, you know, it's starting to brown. It's not even starting to burn or anything. Um, but we want to just make sure there's no, there's no pink in here. And there is not. So this is good to go. All right. I will cut a piece in a second and put that on a plate. And uh, that's all I'll wrap up the video. All right, else. Thanks for watching. So here is our meatloaf. It cooked all the way through. And the great thing about meatloaf is, yeah, this might be a lot for two people or so, but you can freeze it or you just put it in your fridge. Micro, uh, um, uh, meatloaf uh, reheats perfect in the microwave. All right. Thanks for watching.